Hey, Patreon members. So I wanted to give you all a few baking tips that you could use no matter what you're baking. Cake, pie, cookies, whatever. Anything that calls for buttermilk is what I'm getting at. So today's baking tip is how to make your own buttermilk because when I first started baking, I put buttermilk in a lot of my cakes and I would always buy buttermilk at the grocery store, obviously, and it was expensive. It's not cheap. So here's how you can turn basic milk and the lemon juice into buttermilk. So here I have one cup. This is actually 2% milk. If you have whole milk, use that instead, but it'll work either way. The whole milk is actually a little bit better because of the fat content. And if you have milk that's a day old, like as far as the expiration date, even better. I wouldn't use it past three or four days old. But when you're making buttermilk, it actually works in your favor and it's a little bit dated. So we have one cup of milk in here. Now this is just you know, your basic lemon juice. You can squeeze your own lemon. It does not matter what kind of lemon juice it is. Just fill that up and dump it in. And then take that tablespoon and just stir it. And you're done. Let it sit for about 10 minutes or so. Um, basically what I do, if I'm going to be making a recipe that I know calls for buttermilk, I will, as I'm getting my ingredients out, go ahead and make this and set it to the side. And go ahead and get all my ingredients out, break my eggs, get my dry ingredients in the mixing bowl, get those started, and that way this has had plenty of time to sit. Because like I said, it needs about 10 minutes. And you actually kind of want it to come to room temperature. It also helps. So like this is right out of the refrigerator, so it's going to take maybe even closer to 15 minutes. But if you've had your milk in this for, you know, a little bit before you bake, it's probably a little bit closer to room temperature and will create buttermilk a little faster. And so how do you know what it's done is it will start, it's not going to be really super thick like buttermilk that you buy from the grocery store. It's just going to look a little chunky, as gross as that sounds. It won't smell weird. It's the acidity in the lemon juice that will cause that. And if you don't have lemon juice, you can use white distilled vinegar. I prefer the lemon juice. I don't like the smell of vinegar, but it will work the same. Same measurements. Everything will be the same. You can definitely, definitely do that. Um, I've actually seen most red velvet cake recipes call for buttermilk, and a lot of them will call, call for the vinegar to be separate. Same idea. The acidity is going to cause that to turn into buttermilk, which creates a more tender cake if you're making a cake with it. So anytime you need buttermilk, don't have it on hand. Use lemon juice or vinegar and a little bit of milk and you're ready to go. All set.